Alright guys, so today I thought it would be fun to do a little comparison video of the different ways that you can get the chat GPT system to generate some really cool AI art in various different ways. So let's jump in and take a look here using the same prompt, the different images that we get using chat GPT-4 versus the Dolly GPT versus the Prompt Pal GPT that I actually created along with my husband. And I will throw a link to that Prompt Pal in the description of this video. So if you want to use it, feel free to get on and play with it. If you have any suggestions on how we could improve it, put those down in the comments and we'll be sure to check them out and see what we can do to build this into a really useful tool for people generating art in the future. All right, so let's jump in. I thought for this comparison video, we'll do one AI generated art that's sort of a mythical prompt and then we'll do one that's a photorealistic prompt. So um, I will, at the end of this video, throw in a quick snippet on how I take just my general word basic language prompt from a thought I have in my head to turn it into a really strong prompt that the AI will understand and produce the result that I'm looking for without having to continuously change the prompt and try to get it right time after time and generate multiple images. If you use the ChatGPT4 system, you know that there is a limit to how much you get every, I think it's like three hours or something. So you really want to be um, vigilant about what you're using those prompts for and the amount of images that you're generating because you want to have good quality work coming out. If you're limited, you want to get the best result each time if you can. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm going to start by using the chat GPT-4 system. And you can see the mythical prompt here that I'm going to use is a high quality image of a majestic dragon flying in the sky during a sunset. On its back is a beautiful woman with flowing long dark red hair and a full figure. She's dressed in an elegant flowing gown, riding the dragon with an expression of awe and freedom. The dragon is a large and powerful with shimmering scales and wide wings spread out. The background shows a breathtaking sunset with vibrant oranges, pinks, and purples in the sky, and the landscape below is just visible in the fading light. The scene captures the moment of fantasy and adventure, blending the mythical creature with the beauty of the natural world. Okay, so I'm just going to take this prompt, and I'm going to, you know what? I just noticed something about this prompt that actually is a good thing we probably should talk about here. So, I don't have a size in this, and I don't have the word generate at the beginning. Okay, and then at the end of it, I'm going to put size. And for this side-by-side -side comparison that I'm gonna do, I actually think a 1080 by 1080 would be good. So I'm gonna do 1080 by 1080 pixels. If you don't do that, and let's say you're working on an Instagram story that you want to put out, if you don't make that size correctly and tell it that this is either the style being the Instagram real size or the 1920 by 1080p pixel, whatever it is that you need for the size, if you don't tell it that, you're going to have to resize and maybe lose some of the context of the photo, um, or you're going to have to expand the background, which is possible with a lot of different AI systems right now, but it's just an extra step that as a marketer, you just, you don't need right now. So let's just get this done as quickly as we can by putting in the correct size from the beginning. All right. So we're going to take this prompt. I'm going to bring it right over here and I'm going to throw it in and let's see what it comes back with for, again, this is the chat GPT for Okay, so ChatGPT4 throws back one image here. You can see, not bad, it's a pretty cool photo. So we've got that one saved, and to save that, if you don't know already, you just come to the photo. This little down arrow here is your download button. Simply click that, and it will download the photo for you. So the next image that we're gonna try with the exact same prompt is I'm gonna go into Explore the GPTs 
and I'm gonna come down to the dolly made by OpenAI, and I'm gonna give the dolly chat GPT the same prompt we used on the first GPT-4 image that was created. So we'll come in, we'll let it do its thinking, one of the biggest differences about the Dolly versus um, the ChatGPT4 that we just did is Dolly is programmed to create two images at a time, which is great if you're doing A-B testing. Okay, so we can see this first one came out pretty good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. The second one definitely glitched out a little bit. Looks like the dragon's head is just floating and the woman is sort of underneath the head. It's a very strange image on that one. So that was not a success on that particular one. But you can see this one came out pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. Dragon's pretty clear. The woman's face is distorted. That I think will get better over time, hopefully. If you've used the AI system, you know that one thing it is not strong at yet is human faces, but that's a lot of information for it to process. So we'll see if that gets better over the next couple of months. Okay, and then the third system we're gonna be comparing today is the prompt pal that I've created here, my own GPT. In order to use any of the built GPTs though, you do have to have the plus membership, which I believe is $20 a month right now. Okay, so I'm gonna give the prompt pal the same prompt here, and let's see what the system I've coached from the back end creates versus the ChatGPT4 and the Dolly creations. Okay, so right off the bat, I definitely like the background of this one better, but let's see what it actually looks like. Okay, so you can see still distorted face there. That's pretty common. Beautiful, intricate wings. Nice dragon here. Little wonky on the leg, but definitely is a usable image that you could use for something. Okay, so we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of those now and see how they come out and which one you like better. And I will label them one, two, three. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do here is go over and try to do a photo realistic version of a photo. So if you're wondering how I got this specific of a prompt, be sure you stay till the end of the video where I put a bonus feature about how I take just my thought and turn it into a beautiful AI created image prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna take this prompt here and I'm gonna add a generate a high quality photorealistic image of a luxurious beach home living room. The room is spacious with large windows offering a stunning view of the beach and ocean. The decor is elegant and modern with a plush couch in the center. On the couch, a man and woman are seen from behind cuddled up together. The man is of Middle Eastern descent and the woman is of Asian descent. The room is bathed in warm natural light highlighting the sophisticated interior that includes artistic elements and high-end finishes. The primary decor color should represent various hues of the blue from deep royal to skylight. And again, we need to put a size in this one. So instead of actually putting the pixels this time, I'll just show you if I put size Instagram real, it should know what I need that for in pixels. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take this and copy it on into, again, just to check so that you know which one we're on. This is the chat GPT-4 that I'm gonna ask to generate this image first. So come in and paste it, and let's see what it comes up with. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this is a beautiful photo, but it is not sized correctly. So that's okay. I'm just gonna come over and fix the prompt over here. So let's go 1080 by 1920. And one more time, we're gonna take this. We're gonna throw it in. It amazes me how the AI actually seems to be thinking about the best way to represent this photo and how you get a different result each time based on just little tweaks that you can do to the prompt. The sizing is great, being able to size the photo the way you need it. Okay, so there we go. We finally got the story sized image, which that looks like a beautiful photo to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that one. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna switch now to 
the Dolly GPT, and I'm gonna put that same prompt in. Now remember, it's likely to create two images on the Dolly. A lot of times one will be usable, one will not. Sometimes both are usable. It's like getting a two for one. Okay, so there we go. Again, not super impressed by this. That's a weird third arm it looks like maybe they created in there. Little wonky on the lights, that sort of stuff. It just, it's not a great image, I don't think. The second one here, faceless, kind of remind me of those willow figurines that you get where they don't have faces, but they're still cute. So I could probably use this for something in the future. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download it so we can do our side by side that we're gonna do here in just a minute. All right. So the third one is gonna be our prompt pal here that we've created. And I'm gonna give it the exact same prompt again. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look here. So a little awkward how there appears to be a leg maybe over here, and yet his body is this way. So a little strange on the human figures, but you can see the difference of the background in the room. A little bit more elegant, sort of themed it more towards a Middle Eastern type decor. Interesting. All right, so there you have it, the three different systems. Remember, it will get better over time, um, but the more you use it, the more it learns and the better these graphics will get. So jump in there and start creating these prompts. All right, so I know what you're thinking about these prompts, but Jessica, how did you get them so detailed to create the image that you want? Well, let me show you a little trick I've learned over the time that I've been using these different systems. What I do is I take a simple image. So for example, in the video, I'm going to use a photorealistic example that we could use on marketing for our specific uh, niche, which is real estate. So I'm just going to come into chat GPT and I'm actually going to use the GPT that OpenAI has created. That is the Dolly GPT. You can see that right over here on the side. If you're not sure how you get to that, you just simply hit explore and scroll down a little bit and you'll be able to see the Dolly and choose that. So you can see at the top here, it does say Dolly. So I know I'm using that one. And I'm just gonna give it a simple thought that I have in my mind. I'm gonna say, generate an image of a living room in a gorgeous luxury beach home with a man and woman seen from behind cuddled up on the couch. The image should be photorealistic and the size should be 1080 by 1080 pixels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this. And you can see Dolly's thinking, it's going ahead and generating the image. Okay, and it gives us two choices here. So I can then come in and decide if I like that image or if I want a different type image. But in order to get the specific prompt, I'm actually going to sort of flip the script on the dolly and say, what was the exact prompt that you used to generate this image? And you can see then it's going to feed me back the prompt that it actually converted my simple language into. And then I can simply take that and I'm gonna bring that over into my document and I'm going to change whatever it is I would like to change about the prompt. So let's see here, it says a photorealistic image of a luxurious beach home living room. The room is spacious with large windows offering a stunning view of the beach and ocean. The decor is elegant and modern with a plush couch in the center. On the couch, a man and woman are seen from behind cuddled up together. The man is of Middle Eastern descent and the woman is of Asian descent. The room is bathed in warm natural light, highlighting the sophisticated interior design that includes artistic elements and high-end finishes. Okay, that's a good prompt. I'm going to change a couple things about it though before I ask it to produce a picture for me. I actually just did a video this morning about how the new trending color for 2024 in home decor is expected to be various shades of blue. So I want to come in here where it says highlighted the sophisticated interior design that includes artistic elements and high-end finishes. And I'm going to say, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the primary decor color should represent various hues of blue and deep royal to light sky. And that's it. Once you have crafted your prompt, go ahead and take it over to your favorite AI art generating system and give it a try. Make adjustments from there. If you like this video, be sure you go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel.
If you have any ideas on topics you would like us to cover in the future, we'd love for you to leave them in the comments. We're going to try to do as much as we can on helping educate you on how to use all of these great new AI tools that are available to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for joining the Real AI Agents today for this video. We hope to see you again soon.